guys and welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video and I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday all about my faith God Christ and explaining the kingdom of God and I do that through Bible studies book reviews discussions and more so as the title says this is going to be my March TBR now I know I didn't have a February TBR and I definitely recorded it but I just didn't upload it just because February just went kaput um, but I pretty much did all of the books on my February TBR except for one, which I'm moving into March. So you'll see my February wrap up soon. But I definitely wanted to get my TBR up for the month for you guys. And I'm also going to be pulling from my little TBR cup that I have. So, um, yeah, we're going to dive in. So the first two books I have are going to be non-fiction books. And the first is one that I actually started last year and then paused on and I have not picked it back up since. I made it four chapters in and stopped. And it's not that it was bad. It's just I was doing everything else pretty much. But that's Victory Over the Darkness by Neil T. Anderson. This is the updated revised edition. Um, and I was listening to the audiobook with it, but the audiobook is in the older version and not the updated edition. So it's going to take me some time because this is definitely hefty and meaty and there is some stuff in here, y'all. Like some good stuff. I'd be in here just like having a whole conversation <laughs> with the text writing all in my book. If I could show a page that's like highly written on. I'll be in here right now. So um, this is really good. It's about realizing the power of your identity in Christ. And I think that this is great, especially because I am in the process of redoing um, my prayer wall. I have my prayer wall up already with some prayers, but I do want to put some new things like affirmations that are biblical based um, in here. And it has some really great scriptures that I really, really love. Um, I'm trying to find one of the pages that I was like hooked on. I don't know. I think it was on chapter, yeah, chapter one. It has who I am in Christ and it has three specific categories. It has I am accepted, I am secure, and I am significant. But then it also goes through um, the scripture that it comes from and then what the affirmation is. And I definitely want to take some of those affirmations out and put them on my wall. There's another one, I think, in chapter two. Yeah, chapter two has like a long one of like who I am. So it says I am the salt of the earth, right? I'm the salt of the earth from Matthew 5, 13. I'm the light of the world from Matthew 5, 14. And, um, I mean, it, it just goes and goes and goes. Like, this whole page is strictly I am statements of who I am in Christ. And, um, I think this is going to be a phenomenal book. And I just, I want to take my time digesting it. So, I'm not going to be upset if I don't finish it in March. I want to finish it in March because I don't think it was that long of a book anyway. It's only 12 chapters. But I also want to take my time digesting it. So, this is the first book. The next book I have is one that I was supposed to read months ago and never did romance and redemption by timothy cross um it's basically a sort of study on the book of ruth and it's really really short it's not that long and i don't know why it's taking me forever to get to this book um it's less than 65 pages let me see it's 60 ah get to it 62 pages and um he literally goes chapter by chapter discussing what takes place um he includes the scriptures in it as well so i'm just interested to see his take on um the book of ruth so we have that um then i have four books that i'll be reading three physically one ebook until it releases so um the first book is obviously harvest of rubies by tessa afshar now i could have finished this already in february but i am taking it week by week along with you guys and um taking my time to read and digest it and make my notations and things like that so i'm still going to be reading this in march of course we have this which is basically biblical fiction all about the story of nehemiah's cousin if he had a female scribe cousin and her marriage to darius pasagarde who is a aristocrat um and just a whole hot mess of comedy and romance and love ensues and i'm so excited to just be back in this world like oh, so excited so um next i have my buddy read with stephanie which is going to be the princess wise Oh my god so this is the third and final book in the hope and glory trilogy and steph and i have read both books we read the spice king which is book one um which was about the older brother gray delacroix um then we read book two which if you watch my wrap up for the past three months from november to january you know how i feel about that that's so cool i think the sequel is called a gilded lady it followed the sister caroline gray delacroix Cal caroline delacroix could not stand her but this one follows luke delacroix who is the twin brother of caroline and i loved luke from book one so i'm excited that he finally has his book out and i can finally get to it because there's so much to just un unplug that's not the word to discover with luke and his job and his position and oh my god i just 
and this cover is gorgeous like I love these covers so I have a physical copy of book one I will not be buying book two because I did not like book two for reasons okay um and it's not that the writing was bad whatsoever the writing is phenomenal but Caroline as a character I could not stand her in book one I definitely hated her more in book two and I hope she makes minimum appearances in book three just yeah but um yes this is our buddy read for the month so the next book I have is another review book that I was supposed to read like two months ago and never got to but it's A Friends and Followers by S.A. Jewel um and it's biblical fiction following a woman named Miriam who's a widow in Judea um and she ends up going to Capernaum to live as a beggar and she goes on a journey when she meets with Jesus and his friends and learns about his miracles and teachings and things like that so um I hope this is good because I was slightly disappointed with one of the books that I requested. So this is from a company called Ambassador International Publishing. And um, I request books from them because I am one of their book review blogger program. I'm a part of their book review blogger program. So um, I requested a book before previously, which I'll talk about in my February wrap up. But I wasn't too happy with that book for reasons. I read most of it. I read about 95% of it, then DNF'd it. Um, so... I'll explain that but I'm hoping this is better hopefully and I hope that the scripture is used better I'll leave it there so the next book I'm going to be reading is Jerusalem's Daughter by Jenna Rand Maurick and if you guys don't know who she is she is a fellow Christian booktuber youtuber here on YouTube you can click the ad to go to her channel she has her first novel coming out and I'm so excited because I was already able to read a beta copy of this when she first had beta readers and I loved it so much so to finally have an e-art copy of it I am squealing on the inside because I love Shamira and her character and the story as a whole and Asa. I think it's Asa or is it Asa? Don't know. Don't quote me. But um, it comes out on March 16th so I definitely want to read it before then and um, get my official official review because I still have my my notes from when I did the beta read but I want to reread it again. Fresh eyes. Fresh new set of uh, thoughts if that makes sense. So um, I will be purchasing a copy of this when it comes out because the cover is gorgeous. Just gorgeous we love it and I'm not a big fan of green but that cover is everything okay everything so that is that so that is about six books already but I want to try to add two more books on to my TBR um so I'm going to be using the little cup that I have and I'm just going to I'm actually going to pour them out onto the table and I'm just I'm literally mixing it on the table putting it back in a cup and if you guys don't know what this is basically it's a cup with a bunch of strips of paper that have like different prompts so like grab a book that's red grab a book that's purple uh do a number generator spin around close your eyes pick a biblical fiction pick a contemporary pick a thriller or something like that so it's literally just a bunch of prompts in it I do this for my regular book channel my regular book channel so I figured I would do it for my Christian book channel I haven't done it in a while um just because TBRs have been a hassle to do all right so we're gonna go straight to the bottom three came out I just want this one so what does it say read a book with a pretty spine I have a bunch of books with pretty spines so I can do that that's one um let's do mid and I'm really sticking my hand in there okay here's one and I'll, I'll pick out three instead of two read a book with the title that starts and ends with the same letter. Okay. Hopefully I have one. We'll pick another one. Off the top. Here it is. And... Read a book outside of your comfort zone. Great, great, great. Okay, so I'm going to go grab the bo those books and come back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. And I'm actually going to be sort of cheating because I actually forgot to include a book. So um, the other book that's on my TBR automatically is going to be Kingdom Come, which is book 13, the final book in the Left Behind series by Tim LaHaye and Jeremy Jenkins. I'm finally finishing the series, you guys, in March. I'm mind blown. I'm mind blown. I don't own a physical copy, so I will be listening to the audiobook through my public library. But I forgot that so then I now have two books because two of the prompts actually fit one of these books so um for the one that says read a book with a pretty spine which looks like that and then read a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter 
Is it gonna focus? Okay. Um, I have Maria by Misu Andrews, which is the sequel to Pharaoh's Daughter. Um, it is in the Churches of the Niles duology, um, and they both follow different women um that were involved in Moses's life. So this one is on Miriam, and honestly, I love this cover. But it starts with M, ends with M, and the spine on this one, I've always thought this spine was absolutely stunning because I love the cover. Like the cover is everything to me you guys can see but the spine was also really pretty so that knocks out both of these prompts which was great and then for the one to read a book out of your comfort zone i am not comfortable with historical fictions thrillers suspenses or um horrors and this is a it's classified as a thriller if i'm not mistaken this is classified as a thriller or horror i, I don't i don't really know I, I, I really don't know. Let me see. It's a perfect blend of suspense, mystery, and horror, which I don't like any of those, or I'm not comfortable with any of those, rather, I will say. And so I know that Steph read this and she enjoyed it, and I'm planning to read this last October, but I never got to it, and it's still already marked off for three days of reading, so three by Ted Decker. I am finally going to read this book and hopefully it does not scare me silly. But what I remember is that the guy named Kevin Parsons, um, he gets a call from this guy who calls himself Slater, who demands that he tells the truth or confess his sins in the next three minutes or his car is going to blow up. And that alone interests me, but this cover freaks me out. Like, I'm sorry. It freaks me out. So, um, yeah, we have three by Ted Decker, Miriam by Misu Andrews, Harvest of Rubies by Tessa Afshar, The Prince of Spies by Elizabeth Camden, and I don't even think I mentioned the title of this book, which I apologize, but you guys had saw it, but it's The Prince Spies, The Prince of Spies by Elizabeth Camden, and then we have Of Friends and Followers by S.A. Jewell, we also have Kingdom Come by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins, and then we also have the book Jerusalem Slaughter by Jennifer Ann Mowrick, and then I have two non-fictions, which are going to be Romance and Redemption by Timothy Cross and Victory Over the Darkness by Neil T. Anderson. So, uh, yeah, I am excited. Um, I'm definitely going to be prioritizing these two books along with Jerusalem Slaughter, for sure, for sure, but um, I'm excited for this month of March to get some readings on i have gotten my reading back in order in the month of february i didn't read a lot of books i only read a total i think of eight or nine books still not as great as my usual numbers but um it's getting back to that point which is great but that is it let me know what you guys are reading if you guys have read any of these books let me know and because you made it to the end of this video put up a purple heart so that i know you made it to the end it looks like that um and yeah if you can and i'll see you guys in the next video bye mm -hmm.